Hello everyone, I'm Tom, and since this coronavirus disruption started, I've been hosting this vlog to eat beef jerky and connect across the internet. The beef jerky part is silly and pointless, I'm not a food critic, but this vlog has let me explore some fun ideas with you, especially regarding game design. And also, this vlog has been kind of an ongoing record of 2020 and the coronavirus, at least from my little point of view. So I plan to keep doing it. So here it is, 7-14, uh, July 14, almost the middle of July. Um, it's been a while since I made one of these videos, but uh, that doesn't mean that I'm slowing down. It just means I took a little break. Um, and I believe this is going to be the 37th episode or something. Uh, but at any rate, um, yeah, I'm down and a lot of people are down. And the reason is what I'm going to talk about now, which is this guy, Grant Imahara. Um, he, uh, uh, he died of a brain aneurysm late last night, um, only 49 years old, and uh, everyone is going to miss him terribly. Uh, he, was, he was an important part of people's television experience and uh, an important... Um, icon of nerddom um, in American pop culture. Um, and uh, I can tell you that, as far as I can tell, he was a lovely guy. Uh, I I could tell you all about my the fact that I talked with him and uh, got a little bit of time with him and he played my Artemis video game. Uh, I really don't want to name drop like a son of a bitch. Um, I just want to, you know, say that I have my own personal connection, just like I'm sure hundreds of thousands of people have with this guy. So uh, he will be very much missed. But um, let me turn to, you know, a specific aspect that I think is a little more cheerful of Grant and me and our, uh, our how we cross paths, and that is BattleBots. Uh, BattleBots is a TV show and also a yearly competition of robot Waldos in a uh, in an armored box, uh, so that the robots can be very dangerous and hopefully keep everybody safe. If you look deeply enough into the history of BattleBots, you will find that that was not actually a hundred percent always true. But the bottom line is, is they took they took it very safety very seriously. Uh, I know because I was there in 2001, in the summer, before the famous 9-11, 9-11-2001, you know, in the middle of summer, I went to San Francisco and participated in the BattleBox tournament. Uh, I had a little lightweight robot called Texas Stampede, which was terrible, and it lost its first round to another lightweight robot that was also terrible, but not quite as terrible. Um, and also Grant Imahara was there with his robot Dead Blow. I didn't get to talk to him personally, but that at that robot meeting I got to talk to a lot of people. And it was, it was fascinating for so many reasons. I, I, I I'll just touch on the fact that I was horribly sick with the flu while I was out there. I was coming down with it while my plane was touching down in San Francisco, and it drugged me down the entire week that I was there. Uh, I wanted to do a lot more participatory stuff. I wanted to hang out a lot more, but before I could get back on the plane and go home, I basically was so sick. I spent the last two or three days just moaning into a pillow in the hospital or uh, sorry, in the uh, in the hotel room. Uh, so I mean, and that was it was, it was fascinating because it was it was you know people would say, oh, it's a it's a more it's a nicer time, a more gentle time. But the bottom line is is that it was you know we we obviously didn't take. Uh, viruses seriously as we are in 2020. Um, but yeah, I, I had a great time at BattleBots. I met a lot of people who I'd seen on TV at the BattleBots show. Um, I, uh, I talked again. Weirdly enough, I helped Will Wright, world famous game designer, with his BattleBots robot um, and had a chance to speak with him. Uh, so BattleBots as a as a, an event in my life in 2001 was a big deal. It was very important to me, a memory I will cherish forever. Um, and uh, and it was so 
such a touchstone historically, being you know in two thousand one, the same year as nine eleven, you know being you know pre nine eleven when people around me at BattleBots were joking about how much flammable batteries and weird electronics they had packaged into their luggage uh, to go to BattleBots, a thing that post 9-11 you just don't do. Um, and uh, it was so, just, just so, just so. Um, at any rate, yeah, so, yeah, Grand Mahara would would nest. Um, I know it's very serious and bring you down, so let's just get back to the point, which of course is always is jerky. I have an ad here, some big pork crab pork jerky, maple flavor. Probably not going to be very hot or challenging to my taste buds, but let's give it a try. All right, a little piece here of pork jerky. Oh. It's already maple. Well, that's completely inoffensive. The maple syrup smell and flavor jumps right out at you. Um, not at all hot, just as I predicted. Um, not bad. Definitely, definitely one of those things where you can taste the pork, taste the fact that it's not beef, it's not chicken, it's definitely pork jerky. So, between the pork of the maple. It's like a breakfast in my mouth. <laughs> so, at any rate, uh, uh, yeah. Yeah, that's not bad at all. So yeah, uh, stay tuned because we'll definitely have more jerky. I'm supposed to have a new shipment of weird craft jerky variety packs arriving in the mail today. Plenty of excuse to keep this blog going. Um, so I shall. And I appreciate you watching. I appreciate you subscribing and hitting the little bell if you want to be informed when I make a new one. And, uh, yeah. And hopefully I'll be a lot less, uh, you know, kind of serious and there like it was today. I just, you know, everybody's giving tributes to Grand Imahara and I thought carefully about it, and I didn't know that I could not. Um, I just, you know, so there it is. If you'd like to tell me your opinion about how I should speak about Brian Imahara or what I should do with, you know, more serious topics on this particular blog, uh, feel free to add your comments below on YouTube or on Facebook. Uh, at any rate, I really appreciate you watching, and I'll be back with more jerky next time. Thanks. Bye-bye.